What's up, everybody? We're back, second episode of my Training for My Ironman series, and uh, I just got up, I just had some breakfast real quick. Today is gonna be a really, really good day. I'm gonna end up going mountain bike riding with my good friend, Ricky Hoffman. Um, we are not mountain bikers. The mountain bike side of things is basically just a good way to go try and get in a couple miles on the bike and do it in a fun way. Today's also a cheat day. I'm probably gonna end up making these pancakes that I'm obsessed with. They are the best things ever. Good morning, buddy. All right, it is currently starting to rain. So that should make this whole experience that much better, I'll tell you that. That's what makes mountain biking a lot more fun. Cause you go out, you fall in the mud, you look disgusting, and you look really cool when you come out of the woods. So I'm sure most of you are probably saying to yourselves right now, like, Matt, going mountain biking with your friend is not gonna help you, but that's the thing, it, it is. M my idea going into this is that I don't want to base every day of just going to work and pedaling a bike or running or swimming, just train, because it's gonna get repetitive and boring. My idea is keep this whole experience fun. Competing in the Ironman in general is gonna be such a big experience. Everything leading up to it should be a new experience as well. I don't go mountain biking often, so my plan is to put 10 miles in today on a mountain bike in some trails. I'm probably gonna get lost, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna jump stuff, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm putting in 10 miles on a bike. Make, make it fun for yourself or else it is just gonna be a nightmare. Things are going well today so far. Um, I just had to revamp a whole bike for Big Rick and I ended up getting myself a brand new bike. I went with a Candel Trail 3 because I just found my old mountain bike was missing a lot of parts. So that's an issue, but I have a new bike and we are going to go have a friggin' blast out there today. So check this thing out. SC Bicycles, baby. I'll, I'll, I'll be the guy to sell you the bike and tune it up. How does it feel, Rick? Good enough. Good enough, right? I gotta remember to hit the rear brake instead of the front brake on. <laughs> please, <laughs> please hit the rear brake only. <laughs> so this is Big Rick. This is my riding partner today. Oh, front brakes don't yep. work anyway. Perfect. That's all we that's need. That's what I need. Yeah, I think that's better. Now, there's a actually. really strong chance that when I get into an emergency situation here, these guys are coming on. <laughs> so Rick, we're planning on putting 10 miles in. Okay. That's the goal. All right. I don't know how long it's gonna take. One of these instead of the other, is it only one side? Or does it do both sides at the same time? Just don't even worry about them. Dude, what if They're I'm basically hit? for show. What if I'm going off a cliff They're or something? Basically. If we're going off a cliff, worry about that. You, know? you look cool though. It matches your flannel. It's a good look. I planned it. That's nice. Pretty planned. Not bad. That's a good look. It only leans a little bit. Tell me something real quick. Yeah, I think your GoPro is filming upside down right now because all your numbers are upside down. This sucks. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> tell me this. <laughs> I've been wanting to go mountain biking for so long. When you hit me up last night, I thought we were going to Mountain Creek. And I was like, heck yeah. That's a little bit of a different story, and I think we should take it slow before we go to Mountain Creek. You gotta run before you can crawl. So we're leaving SC Bicycles right now. We're gonna go to Alaire State Park. And we're gonna go get reckless on mountain bikes. We're gonna put in probably like 12 hours, because that's probably how long it's gonna take. <laughs> we're very amateur mountain bike riders. First time. First Ricky's time. first time in a mountain bike ever. <laughs> really? Come on. And locked. This and locked. Uh, uh, absolutely unbelievable. We've made it to Alaire. Check it out. This is our official star point. Yeah, where are we? We are certainly not going to end here. So we're just going to ride into the abyss. Oh, man. Literally brand new. Oh, it was new. Literally, it's broken in now. Literally brand new bike. Ricky's bike uh, basically has everything loose on it. So if we have an issue, Blame the official big boy because it's actually his bike and it's Ricky's just borrowing it and might be the official owner after this actually. Does this bike have a gyro on it? How am I supposed to do whips? No, I took I took your gyro off. I wanted you to take it easy for today. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I do know a lot of people start over here. So I think we should go that way. <laughs> Where are we <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous, bro. Right now. <laughs> oh my god. This is fun. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Dude! 
doing? Oh, check this out. This is fun. Ow. Heck yeah. Check this bridge out. There's no, no, there's no shot. <laughs> Update. <laughs> we did, it's officially been two minutes and we are off the bike. Ow, ow, ow. I can't. <laughs> dig, dig. Oh my God, I'm tired already. Well, we've successfully made it to a golf course. And a beach. And the beach. These are all seashells, so. Crazy. Who would have known a million years ago it was a beach right here? Where is going? <laughs> Look at this guy. Powerhouse in the red. Oh my god. Oh jeez. That is... That's no, no way, Rick. How did you just survive this? Oh, oh my god, god dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is down. That one doesn't look sick. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god. Yeah! Uh, Pulled it! Wow. I'm real glad I had a certified bike mechanic to work on my seat. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably, uh. <laughs> oh my god. We could probably shove a stick in yeah, there. We've seen another mountain bike. Hey, you got Allen keys on you? Well, that's the goal. You know, they're friendly. Okay, we need another stick. If it comes off, I take that bike, no doubt. No problem. Right. Hey, bring us that Allen keys, but you can, no, we don't need it, all right. Rick, it was one of those days, okay? I get the, I get you. It's almost brand new, really. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad. That seems pretty it's, good. That's about as loose as the one on my BMX bike that you put on also. <laughs> that is legit a ladder. <laughs> Wow, this is nice. Fishing spot. Here we go. There's got to be some fluke in there, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, some sea bass. A couple blue herring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things have really escalated. Back. Back. <laughs> Sick, yeah, my man. Thank you for that. Yeah, you just yeah. literally just saved our day. Because yeah, Ricky would have died. We've been out here for 34 minutes. We've done three miles and average speed of six miles. We're doing terrible. That didn't sound good, whatever that was. <laughs> no way. I'm in the lowest gear I got and won't go any lower. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. Pretty far when you look at it. Look at this, 15 feet. Pretty damn close, if anything. <laughs> Pretty far. Funny. Check it out. Boom. Not candid. We didn't do the 10 miles. Didn't do 10 Let's miles. just say that. Rick, what happened? Guys, I haven't done anything like this since I was training Scotty for X Games, all right? <laughs> and uh, it's been a while. Probably been about. Oh man, um, what do you think, Matt? Like six years since I've done anything like this? A very long time. Honestly, a very, very we did, long what, time. We did what, 6.3 miles? 6.3 6 miles in the woods. In an and hour and a half. At least four miles were uphill. So that's gotta count for something. That's gotta count. It's double. So we yeah. did 12.4 miles. Regardless, we had over an hour of moving time. Yeah, hour and a half. And that was nothing but pedaling up a hill. Rick's, Rick's gonna invest in a mountain bike soon. I think it's happening. It's the orange one right there. That thing held up really well. That's my investment. I'm gonna go back and get a tu free tune-up. <laughs> SC Bicycles, so. I think you should. Team SC Bicycles athlete Ricky Offen gets brand new bike. Brand new bike. With his new, new drift car. With my new truck that Scotty gave me. And new truck. Crazy. That was good. We, we did pretty good out there and that was pretty tiring. Um, Rick, Rick's done, he's gonna go back and go work on his drift car because that's what he does professionally. Oh my God, I'm so behind on my drift car right now, it's miserable. <laughs> I'm waiting on so many parts to come in from everywhere, but everything stopped. Coronavirus is stopping shipping, everything like that. I gotta drive to Kentucky to pick my motor up. But regardless, yes, COVID-19 did mess up a lot of stuff. However, me and Maddie are one of the, a couple of the lucky few that don't happen to have it. We're healthy, 
I'm healthy-ish. Maddie's way more healthy than I am, but. <laughs> but fun, I'm not done. I'm, I'm still gonna go home and I'm gonna go get my actual workouts in after I make the best pancakes that you've ever seen in your whole entire existence. So I'm gonna drop Rick off and go thank SC Bicycles, AKA my mother for letting me grab a new bike off the shelf. And no, it's not going back on the shelf. I ended up buying it, but I'm pretty stoked on it because I'm actually gonna get out here a lot more. This is actually really fun. I and if, if we were prepped for it, if we get Rick on the right bike. <laughs> one that can like, change gears. That's yeah. what I need. I need one that has more than two gears. Cause it's all I had. Just got home. That was a lot of fun. I feel like a mess. I am feeling dirty as can be, but very successful. We didn't hit that 10 mile mark, I know, and I'm very upset about it, but we did six very good miles. And like I said, I think they were all uphill. It's time to reward myself. I have barely eaten anything all day. I'm making pancakes. Like I said, here it is. This is what it looks like. This is everything that I'm gonna need. Gluten-free oats, one banana. I'm gonna be using two eggs. I've got my little pulser blender thing, coconut oil, just cause it's the best thing to cook in, I love it. And then, thanks to EVL, they get me this plant protein, chocolate flavor. I put a little peanut butter in it, mix it with a little bit of water, and that is like the perfect topping to these pancakes. I don't use syrup, I just put this like protein water mixture on top and oh, it's perfect. Let's do it. I love cinnamon. An absolute mess. This is my favorite thing to make on a Friday. This is my training spot right here. Basically every single morning, jump on my rollers, got my cliffs, my bike. I've got my beautiful new BMX bike. I ride both of these bikes on these rollers a lot. I've been getting a lot better since that last video. That was just a learning and I feel way more comfortable on them now. Let's see what we can do. So right now I ride this rollers about five days a week. You can see I'm getting way more comfortable. I would not have been able to do this in the first video at that time. I'm really, really proud of myself. That's enough of the road bike. I'm gonna take the BMX bike out for a little bit. So this, this feels way easier now. I'm just way more used to riding on here. I feel like I can kind of do whatever I want. I've done a lot of tricks on here, which I will import the clips because it's difficult. This whole thing is a big learning curve. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do, I do want to show that the training doesn't have to be some brick boring training. As I always say, 
The best time to start something epic is right now. Put your best foot forward, take a shot in the dark. Let's see what we can accomplish together. Get stoked, because we're gonna make it. Have an awesome day, everybody, and get excited for the next video, because I think it's gonna be freaking awesome.